you guys boy it's Maria and in today's video I am going to show you and give you the step-by-step -step and how to use the MetroCard or the subway machine here in New York City so if you wanted to know more about it or you probably are confused how to use it then this video is specifically made for you so keep on watching <laughs> The World Trade Center bound E train. The next stop is West 4th Street. If you're going to see a certain machine like this all around the subway station, this one is basically the subway metro card reader. You just swipe your existing metro card. As you can see, these are the details of my metro card. So now I have my 30 day unlimited fare availability. And also you can check it out when is the last time you use it, what time of you use it, and also in the court, if you have an extra money, you can also check your balance there. And lastly, you can see the expiration date of the Metro card itself. If you actually missed my previous videos about the quick guide and tips of how to ride subway here in New York City, kindly check this one probably here or here so you better watch it in correlations of this new video. And also if you're liking this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming and future videos. And also if you have any comments and suggestions or even just say hi, I really do appreciate that. That guys so let's go back to our topic once you have successfully entered the subway station locate the nearest metro card as vending machine these machines are often located near the entrance or along the corridor to the subway in all subway station you can probably find a two different types of machines uh, basically these kind of machines here or it might be the other type of machine like this one so the difference between the two is that this little machines here is just only for a credit card and ATM only but this type of machine which is uh, mostly all the subway station you can find this one is if you're accepting all type of payment modes which is uh, bills coins credit cards or a debit cards if you need to pay cash check this one out and if you are only needing to pay credit card this one is okay to use too but you have also to check out the screen here because in this machine here you said that no bills accepted this time so you have better check this one out but this one definitely cash coins credit and debit cards are all using so normally this is how you're going to see the screen so you just have to press the story you need to choose your language preference the vending machines offer several different languages including english spanish chinese and russian so i'm an english speaker and now to choose the type of metro card you want to purchase so they have a fast metro card metro card and single ride fast card is if you wanted to get a new card which is automatically reloaded of a nine dollar fair balance but you have to pay for the new card for one dollar fee so you have to insert a total of ten dollars to get this so single ride is a single paper ride but it's valid for two hours only and take note every new card cost one dollar fee applies but if you have an existing subway card just click metro card and then refill your card and then you just put it here how you want to refill your card you want to add value or add time add value is adding a specific cash amount to your card while add time is choices of unlimited 
fair plans such as 7 days, 30 days, or 7 days x bus pass. All these plans got unlimited access in both local buses and subway rides, but the x bus bus got an additional express bus unlimited swipes, if that makes sense. But if you are visiting New York, I highly recommend it to get the 7 days unlimited fare. Now you have to choose your mode of payment, cash, ATM or debit card, or credit card. So for this, I'm gonna choose cash. This is actually where your bills be inserted or if you hide your coins, these are the slots for the coins. Normal subway fare is at 275. And if you're gonna check out the machines, these are the denominations of the coins and bills accepted. So one, 10, 25, and five cents. And the bills is 50, 20, 10, five, and single dollars. And also, so you have an idea, these are the credit and debit cards that are accepted in all subway vending machines. You're welcome. And also, you can only load a maximum of $100 in your card. So if you paid for cash and you have change, you can get your change on this slide. And if you paid for credit card or debit card and you want some receipt, you can have it also on this slide. Take note, the maximum change is $9 in coins. So better pay an exact amount. And if all set, don't forget to get your MetroCard and you're ready to go. So thank you guys for being here with me today on this video. This is your girl Maria saying salamat. Thank you. Paalam. Bye. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Bye. Just a right in time. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hey guys, so hi, it's Maria And welcome back to my channel And in today's video We're going to go in-depth review about how to use your subway or we call it the metro car here in the city that never sleeps, New York City. <laughs>